morning, Jeffy Bear. Good morning. How you doing, buddy? All right. Read what that says right there. In trenches. Oh. That's where your fridge is at. Oh. It's on its way, baby. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of companies reach out to me and want me to put their products in my van. And uh, I knew this guy was in the market for a fridge. So a company reached out to me and was like, hey, how would you like to swap your fridge out for our fridge? I'm like, nah, I like my fridge. So I said, hey, why don't you send me that fridge? We're gonna give it to Jeffy Bear and then he can let us know what the fridge is like, if the quality is good on it. So we're gonna let him do the review. And I'm super excited because now he gets to get rid of that big old um, cooler that I gave him because it's pretty giant. And uh, now he doesn't have to buy ice anymore because the fridge is now in Baldwin Park, California. So hopefully it should be here in a week or two. I'm <laughs> so pumped. Anyway, guys, today we're taking Jeffy Bear. Just come with us. Hey, what's up you guys? We're at Off Grid Customs here in Squamish. Um, these are the guys that I bought Jeffy's swivel seat from. And when I messaged them for that, we talked about Jeff having a window. They're like, hey Chrome, tell you what, when you come by to grab the swivel seat, let's just do it all for him in one shot. So today, he's kind of getting a little bit of a van makeover. For this bunny huh you ready for this <laughs> that's gonna be one mighty big hole in about two seconds time i know eh? I got a funny feeling. my face last time was like <laughs> <laughs> Whoop, there it is. Sort of the one of those videos where you're like trying to capture everything, but there's like stuff going on over here, swivel seat going in over there, and you don't know which way you should go film. <laughs> Good boy, buddy. Hey, -o. Yeah. I got it. <laughs> hey, Jeffy, there's a man in your bed, bro. There's a man in your bed, buddy. <laughs> How's that for a view from the bed? <laughs> How do you feel about the big hole in your van? Oh, nice. Yeah. All right, we're done. We're done. See ya. Hey, buddy, you making sure that he's working? Ah, good boy, Cozy. Good boy, buddy. How does that feel to see that massive hole? It's like, right. it's insane. I've been trying to find crews in the shop and Brett's been working on uh, the swivel seat and there's Mr. Cruzy back there. Hey, you just keep an eye on him. And make sure he's working. Is he doing his job? Oh yeah, boy, Jeffy, I'm coming over. Mm -hmm. ah, I'm gonna move this back a little bit. Oh yeah, boy. 
Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is it bad that I'm the first one to sit in your swivel? Nope. <laughs> nope. You want to come back and sit in your swivel? Oh, yeah, you better come back and sit in your swivel. <laughs> <laughs> How good is that? <laughs> Put my feather out of the way. Yeah, different view altogether. Well, that's your pee bottle? <laughs> no, that's my soap bottle. <laughs> so a while ago, I made a joke about Jeff's diesel tank being his pee bottle and someone believed him, so Jeff altered it so people know it's not his pee bottle. Fred just asked me. <laughs> this is not my pee bottle. Fred just came up and whispered, is that his pee bottle? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't think the sign's working. This end here goes to his catheter. <laughs> That's his diesel tank, guys. <laughs> he's trying to crouch over the vehicle. Oh, he's used to mine. I got more clearance. Oh, yeah. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Fall asleep on us in there now, buddy. Yeah. Oh, I have a boot. You, you got quite the view. People back there are working. Look at that. I don't know if you guys have ever been inside of like a full-size Mercedes Sprinter, but <laughs> the thing is, that thing is ginormous. I could literally probably drive my entire van inside of this thing. This is one massive living space. goop it with 295 UV stub. It's made for boats. Here we go. What did we do? We did that side first. Yeah. This is it, baby. Yeah. Alan, Brett, and Brad, I, I've literally, guys, I was going by those. Yeah, that's what they're there for, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for everything you've done yeah. for this guy over here. No worries. Muchly appreciate it. No it was problem. a good time. <laughs> now you can sit in your van. Yes, Finally. I will. Instead of sitting in the front of your vehicle carving, now you can sit in your house and carve. Yeah. Yes. Guys, thank you. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Thank you. No problem, I appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, so Jeffy Bear has got everything hooked up. Doing a large window in a Ford van is kind of a bit of an issue. So the body line here tapers at the back versus the front. So like the gap here is pretty huge and then it narrows as it goes back. So my window is crooked. But my window's also only up here so you don't notice it as much. Where on Jeff's van, if you run this semi-level to the top, it's got a pretty tight space here, and the space opens up as you go farther. <laughs> that looks pretty damn good. You deserve it, bro. Thank you. Hey. And thank everybody else who's contributed to the seat, to the window, to putting it in. I know I bought the window, but I think I used some money that somebody gave me, so thank you. I appreciate it. I don't know what to say. Anyway, I just wanted to extend a big thank you to everybody out there who did help out Jeff and also the guys here at Off Grid Customs in Squamish. They're a new company. They just moved into a brand new shop, and they've probably been in there with one usable week, and uh, they squeezed Jeffy in here to get this done for him. So, guys, thank you so much. Uh, for all the love and the fun times. We had just a great time today. Anyway, you guys, thanks for watching today's video and I'll see you guys, I don't know, maybe tomorrow. See you soon.